Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. I said two days ago I'm going to start a series of videos in which we try to help the biggest problem of all students, which is writing style, because that's the question I get most of the time. How can I improve my writing? Now, what I'm doing is I have posted also a question yesterday or two days ago. Uh, and that question has two aims. The first aim is to help students to write better by providing answers. And the second aim is also to help students who are going or wants to sit for PhD entrance exams as I'm going to provide questions that more likely they are going to see uh, in that exam. So the question that I have posted was, discuss the potential impacts of AI technologies on the demand for language learning and the role of foreign language educators. How can educators adapt to this evolving landscape and ensure the quality of language instruction? Now, the good thing, and thank you my followers, I'm already receiving answers. And many students are trying really good their best to answer this question. And also getting comments, some students are telling me, how can I answer it? How can I approach this question? But one remark that really caught my attention is, some they told me, now this question is so broad, like there are so many concepts there. And this is a problem that many students face when they are asked like a very long question or a like question that is compounded with so many parts. They find themselves very confused. So this is the main idea of the, today's video. So now what I want you to do, when you look at any question or that has so many parts, the first thing that you should know that there should be, there should be explicitly a link between all these parts. Now the link can be there can be maybe one of these four things. One, maybe we have a thematic link. So maybe the all parts evolve around one theme. Or maybe we have what? Causal. Causal link. So we have cause and effect. Number three, we may have kind of a comparative. Comparative. Also, we have comparison between all the parts. And number four, maybe we have kind of exploratory link. So maybe one part is providing a concept that the other parts are going to develop that concept further. Now, I know most of you, you can detect the, this, but what I really want you to do, I really want you to, to develop this sense of awareness of how is the question asked? I mean, like the internal elements inside the question. This is how you can develop your critical thinking. That's something so important for every student. Now. If we try to analyze the question, like say, for example, what is the thematic link? The both parts of the question evolve around the idea of the emergence of AI, or of AI. So we have that we have. So the common theme is AI and the intersection between AI and language education. You should know that at the end, what, what matters to us is language education, not AI. So even if we want to talk, we're not computer engineer, we are like language educators, we are teachers, we are instructors, we are theoreticians theoretician when it comes to, in regard to language, not AI. But still, this is the common theme between the two. Now, number two, we have cause and effect. And indeed, we have cause and effect. And if we read the two parts, we will see that the cause and effect is the influence of AI technologies on language education and how teachers can adapt to this, to this influence. This is cause and effects. Number three, it is comparative link. You may think that there is nothing to compare with, like there are no parts in this, in this, uh, in these two, in the two sentences that indicate any kind of comparison, but there is. The comparison in this case is what? Like before the emergence of AI and after the emergence of AI. That's comparison because we know that the word before AI is not the same thing. So there is a kind of a change. There is kind of a change that implies also comparison. What did we have or what we still have and what is going to happen or what is, what is going on now? So it's very important to understand this. And number four, it's the exploratory link. So we are what we want to explore how, how AI is changing everything. So this is very important because we have the first one that we have emergence of AI. Now we want to explore what is happening. You see what I did here is kind of an analysis to the question. 
And trust me, you may tell me that this kind of analysis can't be done when it comes to the day of the exam, or maybe yes, because you don't have time. But still, this kind of analysis, this is what's going to allow you to write better when it comes to your writing style. So, in the light of what I have said, please, in a comment section, try to send me your, uh, your attempts. And what I'm going to do, because this is not the, the last video in this, because I'm going to continue further analyzing the question. So, thank you so much for your... Um, for your patience with me and I want you really want, would like you to subscribe and would love you also love you to follow my page. Thank you so much. See you next video. Inshallah. Bye.